Right, we're going to draw the curve of interpenetration on this piece of material over here from our drawing that we've got over here of the two cylinders intersecting. Um, first, I need to prepare the piece of material. I calculate the circumference, which is 119, and I draw in that piece of material so that it lines up with the base of this and the top of this thing. Right. After I've done that, I'm going to label all of these points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And over here, same story, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right, what we need to do now is to take lines going across from these points and find them on this piece of material. You'll see that I've labeled this point over here a star, and there is the star over there, and another star on the other side. In other words, if I wrap this thing around, I'm going to end up with a cylinder. You'll see that point one over here is in line with that star. So I take this line going across from my point one over here to where it intersects with the line coming from star. There's point one at the top there, and I've got another point one at the top here because it's the same line. Right, I'm going to try and find point two over here and point 12. Take this across. A line coming across from point 2 and point 12. And I need to find where that point 2 and point 12 is going to be. So, I look over here and you can see that this is a cylinder. For me to draw that cylinder, I would have had to have looked from the top, which means that that is a true length. I therefore have a true length going from 1 to 2 over here. And you'll see that it's exactly the same as 1 to 12 over there. Now on this side, I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And on this side, it'll be the 12, 10, 11 going that way. So I go over here. I find my point 2. I come across here. I place down over there point 2. Label it point 2. And from this side, I will have point 12. Point 12. I then take a line going across from point 3. I come over here, and I take a distance. I would say take the distance from point 1 to point 3. Find point 3 over here. I'm across, place point 3. You'll see that point 3 and point 11 are the same. So on this side, I will have point 11. Come over here, go 1 to 10, and I'm going to draw a line coming across from 10 and 4. Find 4. Place that down over there. There's 4. On this side, I would have point 10. Come back over here. 5, find 5, go across, and place that over here, that's point 0.5, and point 0.9 on the other side. And over here, get the true length of point 0.6, find point 0.6, come across here, that's point 0.6 and point 0.8 on this side. There's point 0.6 and point 0.8. And then finally, you can see that point 0.7 is on that line, which would be the star line. There's point 0.7 over there and point 0.7 over there. Right, once I've got that, I'm then going to draw in this curve of interpenetration between all of these points, which I've got over here and just draw that in carefully over there.
and then draw in this over here. Oops, it's not a very good curve. So, right, what I would suggest you do is when you're drawing that curve, just rotate your drawing board so that it's easier for you. Um, after you've done that, you must finish this off. Draw in these lines so that they are dark over there, over there, and over there, and over there, and finish off the base. Make sure it's all nicely darkened in with the outline. <coughs> 